What's going on, guys? How we doing today? It's Sunday. Fun day. Giveaway day. Hopefully, you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Sunday What's going night. On, guys? How we doing today? Oh. It's... Turn that down. There we go. All right. Let's see. Who do we have in the chat? Carrie Smith, Joe G, the Sindan. Great photo. Uh, I didn't get to watch the video soon, but I like the. Uh, I saw the photo from it. Princess, very cool. Funko Fried Pops, Joe G, hashtag Larry. Kenneth Bird, Weapon X, South Georgia Phoenix. Uh, Sally, Angie, Eric Jones, Glenn, Zombie, Recon. Oh, I like that one. Ian, Wrestling King, 83. Mama J, Sarah Aldrich, Yo J Collects. Cool. So, everyone have a uh, wonderful week, wonderful weekend, I hope. Getting ready for Halloween coming up this Thursday. Good old trick or treat. Pop in hand, how is it going? Tickles, I think I said hi to you already, but I'll say hi again. Grumpy skunk. Man, tough one, Grump. What are we? Jets one and six? Ouch. Ouch, 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 ouch. Oh, Poppin' Sun Pops, what is going on? Michael David. All right. So I was going to, uh, Mitch actually won't come on live, but uh, he was going to pick somebody, but didn't. And um, so, you know, things happen. No worries. Uh, we'll pick a new one. We'll pick the weekly giveaways times two. Times two. New weekly giveaway will be out this week. Uh, some cool stuff. Uh, we hit tomorrow with a Pop King Paul Dragon Ball Z box. If you guys are interested, Pop King Paul boxes did drop tonight. So very cool with that one. Uh, but I do know we've had it for, well, actually I've done the video for probably about two weeks, but it, very cool. It might be the first and last time Pop King Paul ever does a Dragon Ball Z exclusive mystery box. Uh, and I will tell you, there is a grail that comes out of that box. So um, stay tuned for that tomorrow. We're going to get to a very, very unique sneaker video sometime this week. Um, a sneaker that right now is over a thousand dollars. So very, very cool for people that love sneakers. You can probably guess which one it is for people that don't. Uh, it probably will pique your interest to see a sneaker that people are actually paying over a thousand dollars for. Uh, all that kind of stuff uh, this week. A live event tomorrow night, nine thirty, on uh, Pop Couples channel. Check that out. There will be six of us in that one, uh, as we will sort of do a very unique battle with red grail chrono boxes uh, i don't know how many we're going to at least open one per channel there'll be six of us doing it it'll be on pop couples channel it'll be tomorrow night at 6 30 you definitely want to be there for that one sean ryan toys and games he will be there cheap and nerdy will be there pop couple will be there pops ko sometimes pops uh so it should be a fun event <laughs> no, they're not LeBrons. They're not LeBrons. So we will do that. That will be tomorrow night. And then uh, as long as the Chrono boxes come into Monday and uh, our schedules look good, uh, we're sort of nailing down like Tuesdays at 930 for our head-to-head -head battle. Should be a lot of fun. Eight, seven, and one currently right now. So uh, it is actually Sean's turn to host that one. And uh, hopefully Tuesday at 9.30, that one will happen. So some definitely cool stuff there. And uh, I'm trying to get some other good videos. It would be a whole, whole sorts of stuff. You just never know what, what may, uh, may come out. There will be a very cool mail time coming out. I think that will be on Halloween. Uh, it is awesome. Uh, it is in the picture right now, but you guys probably are not going to be able to tell. Uh, the person that sent it to me might be able to tell where it is. But, um, yep, very, very cool uh, mail video coming in. That should be very cool. We have an autograph pop coming in this week. That was a cool video to do. Uh, and there's some more cool autograph pops coming. Shouts out to Zobie Box on that one. 
Uh, also, if you guys are interested in autograph items, tomorrow sometime on Zobi, shopzobi.com, there will be a bunch of Michael J. Fox items. There will be pops. So both pops, uh, the one is him is sort of Clint Eastwood. That pop will be available, set, signed, as well as the sort of uh, Darth Vader type of space suit will also be signed. I don't know cost. There are also some little uh, time machines that are signed. My guess is they're not going to be cheap. Michael J. Michael J. Fox is not a cheap autograph to get. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if a pop autograph pop is probably around three hundred dollars, honestly. But they will be available on Zobi.com tomorrow. Yeah, it, it is very expensive, and it was a private signing, which is even more expensive. I'm gonna guess probably about three hundred bucks. Two hundred would be really cool, but I, I don't uh, I don't foresee that one. I think it's gonna be about three hundred bucks, but we'll see. Tomorrow on uh, Zobi.com, they will be available. See, at night, I always miss stuff. All right. Are you guys ready to get into uh, get into some giveaways, see what we got? So we're going to pick two winners. We have the five prizes. Uh, we have a autographed pop Darna. Uh, we have that one. We have a gold chrome uh, Iron Man. We have a flocked Scooby-Doo, purple flocked Scooby-Doo. It was a hot topic, or it was a box launch. Oh, here, I have it right here. Uh, I think it was box lunch, but this is the overseas sticker flocked. Very cool. Ten meals to uh, to people for, with that pop. Uh, so very cool there. And um, yeah, we have the mystery box. I think we have the anime mystery box. And uh, maybe a gift card too. We have a bunch of prizes. <laughs> so should be cool. All right. Let's get to it. Let me bring up the handy. We also will pick come on live with the luau. So, um, I'll throw it out there because Mitch, I think, is in the chat. So, if somebody wants to come on for a little bit with me, uh, let me know. Um, and I'll open it up to you guys. Um, if there's more than one, uh, let the chat choose who, who you guys want want to see. And uh, you could Instagram me your email address, and I could pop you up and invite you in if anyone wants to do it. I'll throw it out there. Uh, we also will pick a, another winner of Come On Live that we can do next week. <laughs> Are you out of prison? <laughs> oh, my. Yeah, Zobi prices, they're expensive. And what Zobi does, um, now he did do a really autograph, a cool autograph sign session with uh, someone that sits back in the case as well. Those weren't too expensive. Michael J. Fox is another beast. I mean, Michael J. Fox is very, very uh, pricey autograph to get. Um, it was a private signing he did with him. I don't know how many pops or how many cars. I know that there's some time machine, little ones. I don't think they're big. Um, both pops were signed. Very, very cool. Very cool. So I know they'll be available on their website tomorrow. But, yeah, even for me, 300 bucks a little steep. I got you. I got you, Steven. I got you. Yo, Jay Collect's going to do some videos. Very cool. All right. Let's get to some giveaways, right? Uh, I'm Amanda Sparkle. What is going on? Funko Jones. Cat. Boondog Pops. Mama Jay, I don't think I said hi to you guys. Aaron Bain. Just a brat. Joe G. All right. So let's get in here. Let's pick some winners. Also, coming up in November, uh, for people that enjoyed sort of the, the hot challenge that we did about two weeks ago with the spicy noodles, we're going to do it again. We're going to step it up. And uh, when I say step it up, we're really going to step it up. We're going to do the little nitro gummy bear. So literally, the, the gummy bear is like that. Uh, it is 9 million Scoville units. Um, so, for example, the death chip was just under 2 million. <laughs> so, we'll see what it does. Uh, I think all of us are going to try it. Uh, supposedly, from Larry, said the challenge is you keep it in your mouth for like two minutes and then you swallow it and then you wait five minutes before a drink. Uh, I think all of us are just going to just try to do it and see how it does. 
That will come to you sometime in November. We're working out the final details of who's going to do it. Uh, unfortunately, there's a few that are out just for health reasons. Um, you know, it can go bad, no doubt about that. But we're going to do the heat again. Uh, maybe we, you never know. Maybe we make this sort of like a monthly thing. Um, I can tell you Oren is not going to do it, but uh, Kristen has stepped up to the plate and she will do it or at least try it. Uh, Sean is in. Uh, Larry is going to come in on this one. Uh, now, I have tempted Larry with a sort of a little bet. I don't know if he ever told anyone that, but, uh, you know, he's talking about the chip and heat and everything like that. I did reach out to Larry and said, listen, he the new BIM toys that came out, it was like a cat and a dog ghost thing. Um, limited to only 300. There's only three, I think 300 of them made. I got one and Larry really wanted it. So I said, I'll tell you what, Larry, I will give it to you if you can do the death chip and last for 10 minutes without a drink after the death chip. So, uh, yes, he hasn't said, yeah, he was really thinking about it, but I think it, it sunk in pretty hard when he saw how all of us never even came close to 10 minutes. I, let's let's get to uh let's get to some giveaways. All right, let me pop it in here. See how many we have. Uh, all right, currently we have one hundred and fourteen comments, unique comments. Uh, this will be winner number one. So winner number one gets to pick out of the five prizes that they want. Uh, the gold chrome Iron Man, the Flock Scooby Doo, the autographed Darna Pop. The mystery boxes, and uh, I think there's a gift card as well, a $30 gift card, or PayPal credit, if you will. Okie dokies. All right, let's go. And 114, here we go. This is weekly winner number one. We have Donker3. So Donker3, who writes, uh, thanks for the generous giveaways, safe travels, Yes, it was a safe travel. I appreciate it. So, Donker3, you are winner numero one. Let me know on Instagram what prize you would like, and we can go from there. So, yes, I do thank all of you for that. Uh, there will be sort of a video coming out. I think it'll be this week. I'll bring it out. It is uh, probably about a minute to a minute and a half sort of photo collage of the trip to Indianapolis. Uh, some of the restaurants, which uh, really a great shout out to Man vs. Food. Um, if you live in the Indianapolis area, Trader's Point Creamery, unbelievably fabulous. Uh, I absolutely loved it. Uh, a little bit, uh, I don't want to say uppity, but, uh, you know, a little bit higher scale than what I figured it would be. But uh, they have this mac and cheese, which is to die for. They, they do all their own cheeses, and it's farm to table. It's unbelievable. Their ice cream, you could tell the difference that it was just made right there. Uh, it was fabulous. Um, had a lot of fun there. Also, want to give a shout out to Ari at um, Funkitos. So Funkitos was a pop shop that Stephen and Jess go to. Uh, they told me about it. I made a trip there and uh, spent about an hour with Ari. Very, very awesome lady. Um, very cool shop. She actually has her collection in the shop, which is very cool because most of the pops I really liked <laughs> were, were from her personal collection. Uh, but, uh, awesome, awesome, some displays, check her out. I believe she is, I know she's on Instagram. I might be on Facebook as well. Funkitos, uh, which was an awesome, uh, awesome time. I really enjoyed that. We also went to, I believe it's called Bubs, uh, which is another man vs. food challenge restaurant, which they have this, uh, the big ugly burger, which is, it's this huge cheeseburger, um, if you can eat one, I think you get a little picture. And the more you eat, if you eat four, you get like a standee. Uh, and I think they said a few people have done it. Uh, Clint was with us. He did have one for dinner. But, um, yeah, no more than that. They, they throw a lot of butter on these buns. It was incredible. But I uh, had a lot of fun there as well. And then I cannot say enough about St. Elmo's Steakhouse. Uh, 117 years um, at that look. I'm assuming at that location in business. It was unbelievable. If you're familiar with Ruth Chris Steakhouse, this is better. Um, I mean, they were just, it was incredible. The cool thing was Clint, uh, Clint's wife, both Stephen and Jess, they've never been there. Uh, Jess, Stephen was there once many, many years ago, but they, they never were there. 
and it was just it was really cool very cool so uh, but you'll get a little picture fun of all the the trip which was a lot of fun uh really big shouts out to clint uh mrs franchise kicks steven and jess um it was uh, an awesome time an awesome time carrie smith yes the shrimp cocktail is what their their big thing was there's a couple restaurants that sell them uh a horseradish sauce which is out of this world it was it was it was amazing yeah amazing 42 inch pizza in san antonio Oof. that's big big i also got to try um i think it was edwards drive-in which was apparently i had to try the pork tenderloin sandwich uh, which was unique because here in, in the east coast where i am uh, we don't have pork tenderloin sandwiches we have like pennsylvania dutch stuff and you know pot pies and stuff like that but uh not a pork tenderloin sandwich which was uh very cool they also made their own root beer so if you travel, I highly recommend check out um, Man vs. Food, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. Uh, search up those two shows and search up your, your area you're going to go to. A lot, a lot of cool stuff. I will say about Indiana, Indianapolis, they love turnarounds. Um, I've never seen a city that had that amount of like traffic circles, turnarounds, however you want to call them, in my entire life. Uh, the first time I've ever seen it when I, we would go down to... Um, the beach in Brigantine here in New Jersey, they had one. Uh, I'm not going to kid you. I went two blocks and I hit four of them. No joke. No joke. All right. Let's get to the next winner. Uh, so that'll come out later in the week. You guys will get to see that. Um, yes. Also, Carrie from This and That Essentials, I know, is in for the Gummy Bear Challenge. So, yes. We have some people out. Health reasons. I totally get that because... Uh, we're really stepping up the heat with these things. All right. So we're, again, 114 comments. This is for winner number two. So actor Donker, three, uh, picks his. Um, and then this person can have their pick of the remaining four. Here we go. Winner number two of the weekly giveaway is going to be Fox Crown. Uh, Flock Scooby is so cool. Glad your indie trip was a win all around. So, Fox Crown, you are winner number dos two. Uh, hit me up and let me know the prize. And once Donker three picks, um, I'll tell you what we have left. Unless you win a mystery box, I think we can probably whack out two mystery boxes. I will say also, guys, you want to check out the videos, keep track of the, um, pop price guide list that is on all the videos for anything up to date because sometimes I tend to lately um, tape a lot of videos ahead of time and I try to update that more quickly than you might see the video so very cool um, I will say also I don't know if it'll be out this week it might be the week after but we did do a smile world box and we did hit a little or uh, not rubber ducky but a little plastic duck so for anyone that opens Smyrble boxes, you know what that means. Uh, there was something big in, in the box. So another thing to uh, look look ahead to. Yes, tomorrow at 8.30 p.m. Eastern, definitely go check out YoJ Collects. He will do a battle. Uh, a damaged Toy USA, a battle between Fritzy Funko and YoJ Collects. So definitely check that out at 8.30 tomorrow. And then if you want, uh, come join us at 9.30 and uh, watch all six of us open some Chrono Battles. And there are stakes to that one. And it is something very, very unusual. Um, it's not, I don't want to give it away. Got to wait till tomorrow to see. But it's very unusual stakes for the battle tomorrow night on Pop Couples Channel. Very unique. Um, very, very unique. <laughs> That's all I'll say about that one. Oh, did I see Wally's in that? Wally, we have to uh, sh shoot me a message on Instagram, and uh, we'll have to get a date together for uh, the little one. So if anyone wants to see something also very unique, uh, I'm not going to have anything to do with it. I won't be in the video, but 
the little luau, the mini luau, will do a sort of a head-to-head -head battle with Kristen from Wally's World of Toys. Um, it's something I know Sean said he is interested in seeing. I'm interested in seeing it. Uh, I think it'd be cool. But uh, that it's on the horizon coming soon. No worry, Kristen. We're all busy. We all, you know, it, it gets like that. And I'll throw this one out there. If anyone is coming to the Pennsylvania area, Lancaster, Elizabethtown, Hershey, um, hit me up. Let me know. All right. So we have one more to pick, and that is a come on live next week. So, again, um, this prize really has generated uh, – I haven't seen him in the chat, but Magoo um, really came out with this this idea to, to come on live as a prize. And um, we have had some takers. We've had some passers. We've had some people that have uh, passed it on. So it is a gift that is transferable. You can give it to anyone that you want uh, if you do not want to do it. It is no hard feelings at all. I totally understand it. Hit me up. Let me know on Instagram, and uh, I could try to find somebody else that wants to do it. Or like today, throw it out and see if there's any way that wants to do it. Um, I get it. it. It can be very intimidating. Without a doubt, it can be intimidating to do it. But, um, yeah, it's, it's always fun. Always fun. Joshi. <laughs> Elizabeth, as long as uh, for anyone's in in the area, if it fits into my schedule, yes, I have no problem meeting people. Um, yeah, I, I I don't as long as it fits into my schedule. Uh, the best is the more advanced notice you can give me, the better it always turns out to be. But uh, yeah, yeah, I have no problem meeting people. So, I mean, Philadelphia is a little bit far from me. That's about an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes away from where I am. Uh, Pittsburgh's even farther. Pittsburgh's probably about three hours plus. Uh, but right around, you know, the uh, Lancaster, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania area. Uh, so you have Invalid Unboxed there who has his toy store. Very cool if you're in the area to visit. I know Tim from Sometimes Pops has come up to visit. Um, awesome, awesome shop. So, shouts out to Invalid Unboxed. And, um, you know, so he's in the Lancaster area. Uh, I'm sort of between Lancaster and um, Hershey. Harrisburg, of course, the capital. <laughs> All the Luau Essentials. <laughs> Come to ECCC. I know Brian and Brittany, I think, are going to do it. Um, Sean has talked about doing it. I don't know if I would be able to pull something like that off. Uh, it's around a really bad time of the year with the kids events, um, which makes it very, very hard. Um, even with work stuff, it's very hard for me to go uh, and leave it, leave it for my wife to deal with. It's a lot to do. So as much as I would like, I think if it, and out of any of the cons, uh, ECCC would be number one. Um, just because I don't think it's as bad with lines and everything like that. Uh, and it's sort of that type of area of the country I kind of like. I'd like to visit. I haven't been there. Um, San Diego, of course, with all the panels and everything, I would love San Diego. But it's, I'm sure, a nightmare. New York might actually happen next year, though. Uh, because I'm very close to New York. So, Yes, yeah, one of these years. Yes, Mennonite country, yeah, Amish country, definitely, definitely. <laughs> All right, let's pick the last winner of the evening. This is a come on live uh, event. Remember, you could trade this, etc. Uh, let's see. So the winner of come on live is going to be, this is for next week. It is, it is, it is Nessar. So Ness, I don't know if you're in the chat. If you are and uh, you want to come on live next week, hit me up, let me know. I know you know how to get a hold of me. Uh, if you would like to gift it to somebody, Ness, 
let me know who you would like to gift it to. And um, yeah, if you want me to find somebody, let me know that too. Yes, definitely. Congrats, Ness. Lisa Pavlis, what is going on? There is Magoo in the house. So I'm trying to think of anything else going on. Um, I think cool mystery boxes from this past week. I uh, did pick up a volume two of the collaboration between Pops KO um, and Big Text Pops. So looking forward to that one coming. The very big Toy USA $200 damage box. That is on its way. That was an incredible box. Sold out very quickly. I think there was only 25 boxes. Very, very cool items as well. So I'm um, looking forward to getting that one. Opening that up for you guys. Like I said, there'll be a Zobi. Actually, a couple Zobi boxes coming. One of them is absolutely insane what it is. Uh, incredible. Uh, another one is a completion, a set completion one for me. So that'll be coming. I don't think that'll come this week. That'll probably come next week or the week after. So Super Dark Water Comics. So uh, the next giveaway video will be up at about 10.15 tonight. All you have to do is go to the giveaway video. You'll see the logo is the same. It is also on every one of my videos. Click on that video. Go to the comments. All you have to do is be like, is like subscribe to the channel comment down below and that gets you entered into it all you need is one comment anything will do and then next sunday when we go live at 9 30 we uh run the comment picker and uh, we pick a winner and that's it uh, very easy to enter in tylock is now I, I have a list of people i would love to see on i uh, know whether they would come on i don't know but, uh, yeah, Tylock would definitely be a, a cool person to have on. Um, let's see. Who else would be high on my list? Uh, Alexandra would be one. I think that would be kind of cool. Yeah, Tylock does such such great stuff uh, for the community. His support videos, Saturday, support Saturdays are awesome. Um, you know, love to see when he hit a thousand. That's awesome. He's on his way to 1100. Uh, so definitely check him out. I know he has a giveaway for that one. Great, great guy. Amanda, you're very welcome. Uh, I love giving back. I mean, you guys know that you guys see that, uh, it's a lot of fun for me, uh, et cetera. So, and uh, watch the sneaker video coming out later this week. You'll see some of the ways that I am able to do giveaways. What's the giveaway pop for this week? Oh, so I'll give you guys some, a preview of what's coming up. There's some different stuff. So this week, you could win this. Uh, now, this is stuff we opened up on the channel. You could win the very last one I will ever open up is the Loot Crate DX box. All the stuff you would get. From the Captain Marvel Tau to the whatever it is, the Mr. Potato Head, the Rugrat shirt, and the Astro Boy light out, which is probably the nicest thing in the whole box. You'll get that whole box. That is a prize number one. Um, we also will give someone away the Marvel 80 Years box. Um, T-shirt, two pops, etc. in that. This is a size extra large. That's going to be an option this week. We also have the Dragon Ball Z. Now, this is opened. There is not a chase in here, but every other item is in here with the pop. This is an item. Um, and then we go back to, I believe, a mystery box and a gift card. So those are the, uh, the prizes um, for this coming week. Uh, no bonus giveaway yet. I was very close to pulling one off this week. But um, yeah, the kids finishing up soccer dance the wife worked we had to go see the adams family so for anyone out there i wasn't going to do a movie review for a movie that's been out a week or two uh but i did go see the adams family this weekend um the, the little one i don't know what it is she she got in her head <clears throat> she had to see the adams family so for me the adams family was always you know the old tv show or the raul julia movies so we watched the the movies and she's seen them before 
had to go see the movie. We went and saw it yesterday. Um, she loved it. I mean, it was good. It's an animated version of the uh, the Adams Family. To say, you know, it was cool. Uh, sort of a different take on it. Shows them before the children. They get married. How they find their house. And then it, it was a cool little story. I mean, it was, it was cute. It, it was cute. Yes, the black and white uh, Wednesday Adam Pot was very cool. I'm hoping that the Lurch comes out. I know it's overseas, the Lurch holding thing. It was supposed to be a Funko shop. Then it was a regular one. Now it's never come out yet, so I, I don't know what's going on with that pop. That would be a cool pop. Uh, Lurch was really cool in the movie, I'll be honest with you. I thought that was awesome. There were some really funny parts to it. Um, it was cute. So, it, I mean, if you, you like the kids and you like the animated movies, check it out. It is a cute movie. Lost chat on my uh, my iPad died, so I gotta bring chat up uh, so I can see it quicker. Oh yes, homespun geek, that would be awesome. I think Tylock, we're gonna need photos of that puppy to to see that. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, so now I should be able to see chat a lot quicker. So yeah, I mean, if if you like those kind of movies, they I thought it was a cute movie, cute movie. I will say the next movie review we will do on the channel will be Star Wars, uh, the Rise of Skywalker. We are going to check that out. A very special. They say it's a fan experience showing. It is 5 p.m. that Thursday night, um, whatever it is, the 19th of December. That will be the next movie review. Uh, it will come out. We very well may even be doing it. Um, oh, so the Lurch is in GameStop in St. Louis. Interesting. Um, we will. I don't know if we'll do a live event with that that Thursday night. We may. We'll have to wait and see. But a video will come out with the movie review that night. So that will be, I can guarantee, the next movie review we do. <laughs> I'm, I'm with you, Tylock. I, I think it will be better than uh, the last one. The last one I know bothered a lot of people, and that director, um, people wanted to like hang him uh, because they just didn't like the way he did it. Uh, the Last Jedi, it was what it was. I, I wouldn't say I hated it. I didn't love it. Um, they did a lot of things wrong without a doubt. But uh, this one is very, very intriguing. If you have not seen the, the latest trailer which came out last Monday night during Monday Night Football, definitely go see it is the last trailer they're going to do for the movie. Um, it's due out December 20th. Uh, I think most of them are coming out the 19th. Um, I called my local theater and said, what is this uh, fan event? And they really couldn't say. There's like special things they give away. And uh, it's an hour before the first release, which is technically 6 p.m. So, um, yeah, I thought, why not? It's an extra 10 bucks. Um, now here, and I, I think it's movie theaters all over, it's like lounging chairs. These things are like lazy boys. So I choose that sometimes over the IMAX experience just because I enjoyed my comfort. Uh, but I can tell you that will be the, probably the next movie review we do. We might do Frozen 2. I think we're going to go see Frozen 2 on the day it comes out. Um, so if we do that, uh, I'll do that as well. I try not to do a movie review unless we go see it like the day or the second day it's out in the theaters. Then uh, I'm more inclined to do it. GameStop has Lurch. That's very cool. Uh, they were selling at quite the premium overseas versions, almost like 50 bucks. The Astros are up 4 nothing. Yeah, not really a big surprise. Um I'll be honest, this series reminds me a lot of years ago, the Atlanta Braves and the New York Yankees, where Atlanta went up 2-0, and then the Yankees drilled off four straight games. Chances are this was going to happen. I uh, would have loved to see the Nationals win, but um, yeah, unfortunate, unfortunate. <laughs> oh, they, they let it go, Tylock. They let it go. Uh, I cannot tell you how many times I've seen Frozen. Uh, having a little daughter... Um, I'm probably approaching the 50 to 60 times 
and I can't tell you how many times I've heard the song and the soundtrack. Uh, yeah. So we'll be there for part two. Oh, God, Let It Go. She had a doll that sang it. It lit up and sang Let It Go and is actually the exact track from the movie. Yeah, Let It Go. Oh, yeah, I am with you, Larry. Um, our theater ripped every regular seat out of the every single theater there is except the IMAX. Uh, the IMAX is the only one that has regular seats anymore. Everyone else, it is Lazy Boys, and it, it's fabulous. The first set of, of Star Wars pops are out. We, you know, of course, you know it's going to be like Toy Story. You're going to see an, another wave of them. Uh, the exclusives and everything like that will be out. So, um, yeah, definitely more Star Wars coming because they can't give too much away. You know, they don't want to give anything truly away. Wow, three foot Anna and Elsa for the kids. Jeez. Oh, God, Baby Shark. I will tell you the show on that that thing still sits in uh, in our bedroom. It actually played a couple times this week. All right. So yeah, that's uh that's all the stuff coming up. Uh, congratulations to all the winners. Uh, Ness, let me know if you want to go on live next week with me. Be fun. <laughs> uh, and like I said, guys, the the hot challenge will come. Probably November. Uh, this one will probably, I'll probably host this one because it was sort of my idea to keep it going. And uh, I have the uh, gummy bears. So <laughs> I just need uh, confirmation of everyone that's doing it. So, so far we do have uh, Carrie from This and That Essentials is in. Hashtag Larry. Sean Ryan Toys and Games. And uh, Oren has uh, graciously uh, nominated Kristen to do this one. <laughs> Oh, Mitch, yes. Yeah. Star Wars tickets. Uh, I was on those last week. Absolutely. Absolutely. No. Sign those waivers. <laughs> It'll be cool. Uh, the gummy bear is a lot hotter. Not necessarily will it be harder to do, but it is a lot hotter. Uh, Nine million Scoville units for the gummy bear. So, and like I said, uh, Larry still has a, a a bet out there if he'll do the death chip. We'll see. Um, JJ, you know, Brian is out. Uh, Brittany has not allowed Brian to do the gummy bear because of what it could do to his stomach. Uh, it was a real serious scare what the death chip did to Brian. So, I mean, really bad. Um, because he had his surgery and everything like that, it's not good for the stomach, the ulcers and things like that. And the heat that that gummy bear possesses, it just, uh, it's too worrisome. He has said maybe he'll put it in his mouth and just, you know. But even that, it's probably a little scary for Brittany. Brittany uh, put the hammer down, said no, uh, no gummy bear. Larry, I'm telling you, that chip's gonna, that chip ain't is no joke. And, uh, you know, I mean, granted, I, I set stakes, but, uh, you know, 10 minutes, a little hard. Yeah, you gotta chew the gummy bear. I think that's why they want you to keep it in your mouth, like two minutes. <laughs> Listen to Tylock, Larry. That's a bad idea. <laughs> Ten minutes is a long time. I, I don't think I made it to uh, even James, who took the chip better than anybody. I don't think it made it, you know, a call. Not, surely not ten. And, you know, I mean, you know, I mean, rules are rules. You got to go ten minutes to get the prize. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, Larry thought about tying himself up to the chair so he couldn't do anything. It's fierce. It's fierce. Steven, uh, I did talk about popcorn with flicks while we were at um, while we were in Indianapolis because uh, they just happened to live there. Um, Clint has never run into them yet. I'm sure sooner or later, one day it'll happen. Uh, I know that they're still doing flicks or their flicks things on uh, Facebook. Um, if you're on their Facebook group, I know it's on there and you can go on it. They're do I don't know what they're up to now, 160, 180 of them. And a lot of their grails and collections are what they're doing. So yeah, uh, no, I don't believe they're doing any more mystery boxes. Um, so, yeah. They just announced a run of 400 boxes. <laughs> Oh, I would hope that that's a joke. Oh, Carrie. Yeah, I mean, um, they are what they are. You know, it, that's over and done with. Uh, I don't think we'll see them do videos again. Um, it is what it is, you know. I like that thou shall though uh, shall not be named. <laughs> Pops nineteen eighty one, what is going on? Are you shared the screenshots? Oh my, I have to check that out. Yeah, no, I, I would I would not buy anything from them. Yes, uh, they still do flixes. They're a little flixes thing on on Facebook. I don't know the whole rules. Uh, it's like ten people, however much money a, a chance. If you win, then you win a number, and you possibly could get one of their grails. Uh, I don't know. It seems like a big joke anyway but it is what it is i just think if only you didn't try to burn the king pop king paul might not uh, none of that might have happened so it probably would have upset people but you know might not have been as bad matthew Kelly, favorite wwe pop Wow. Um, that I own would probably be the uh, Bret Hart autographed uh, one that I have. Uh, it sits back in this case here somewhere. Um, the one I don't have, CM Punk, I think would be kind of cool. Stone Cold Steve Austin would be kind of cool. I do have a Ric Flair. That's probably the second favorite that came in the video game, uh, holding the belt, which I think is pretty cool. Might actually be the only pop that actually has a belt, the belt. Uh, I kind of like that one. Yes, Batman Pops 23. Uh, Clint was actually at the game. Uh, Franchise Kicks was at that game again today. Yes, it was very cool. Yes, the six-inch Andre the Giant. That is a pretty cool one. I've seen that one. They're Instagramming. Everything with popcorn with flicks is private. Yes. Xavier, what is going on? Ooh, John Cena, that's a cool one. Now, I, I did hear a rumor talking about wrestling. I've heard a rumor for 2020, The Rock comes back and wins a title, a small run, you know. And I've heard that John Cena will come back, win the championship, and then retire. Don't know if that'll happen. Don't know if that's true, but uh, that is a rumor. I actually heard that today. Yes, Batman Popster. Check him out. Oh, excuse me, guys. Uh, he has some boxes dropping, so definitely check out Batman Popster. Larry, if you want to list his Instagram or whatever you want to list a uh, link for him, that would be great. Uh, he has some mystery boxes going. He's sort of downsizing his collection. So uh, if you guys are interested, definitely check that out. 
South Georgia Phoenix, yeah, we're never going to see that. Uh, he may come back, win the title on him, to, so he's the greatest champion of all time, and then he retires and walks away. Yeah, that's what you're going to see with John Cena. I don't know if The Rock officially retired. He did come back and do a little physical stuff a couple weeks ago. Uh, the problem The Rock has is he has insurance companies and movie companies and everything like that that do not allow him to wrestle because last time he wrestled, he did actually uh, tear some muscles and he needed surgery. It was bad. So a lot of people have so much invested in him that, um, yeah, it's hard. Yeah, I think they're both technically – you're not going to see both ever work full time, but you never know. A little quick shot here and there, pay per view, etc. Uh, you may see. He does wake up, make a lot of money. They they both do in, in reality. Thank you, Larry, for listening, Batman Popster. Guys, definitely check him out. Selling his collection, he has some cool stuff. So if you're interested. All right, guys. Well, I am going to get out of here. Uh, I actually have some boxes I have to get out. And, um, yeah, I got an early morning. So, I appreciate everyone uh, coming in, hanging out. And uh, hopefully we have a come on live. Maybe Ness will come on live next week with me. If not, we open it up to some, uh, some other ones. This and that Essentials is in the house. What's going on, guys? So, um, yeah, very, very cool. I thank you all for joining me. I will see you guys tomorrow night. Remember, tomorrow night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time on Pop Couples Channel. Six of us will do battle with the Red Chrono Grail or whatever they are, high roller boxes. Uh, there are stakes to the competition between the six of us, and it is something you've never seen before. Uh, so join us tomorrow for that and probably Tuesday night on Sean Ryan's channel where we will do battle again, eight, seven, and one right now. Uh, will I go back up by two, or will Sean tie it up? We'll have to wait and see. And, uh, yeah, very cool. Oh. <laughs> uh, thank you all for joining me tonight, guys. Uh, go check out the Adams Family. Get your Star Wars tickets. I will see you during the week. Uh, very cool video tomorrow. A Dragon Ball Z Grail is going to be opened up uh, on a Pop King Paul uh, Dragon Ball box. So that's tomorrow. I will see you during the week, guys. Peace and love. Luau is out.